All right, so it's been a couple of days since I released the 1.0 uh, breakdown trailer, and I apologize. I didn't realize it was going to be so long. It was like a 27-minute video, um, and I never thought I would break that up. But a lot of you watched it, so I appreciate you. Thank you so much for the love and the support. But I made a little bit of a breakthrough on potentially the new items and the new machines. Uh, I've been researching and scouring all over the place, and I feel like it's been under our nose the whole entire time. So as we know, we have this whole new building here. And there's been many speculations if it's going to be a building that teleports items from A to B, if it's just going to be a new building that is going to potentially use this items over here to power it, and then it brings items in and outputs from here. Um, and I don't think it is that kind of building. And I don't think it is. I think it's a, a building that could any other building, items go in, items go out. And this whole glowy thing right here, I believe it's just a visual effect. I don't think this has anything to do with um, an indicator of going from A to B kind of thing. Um, and what I believe the name of this building is, is the Quantum Encoder. And the reason you must be wondering that, so I released a tweet this morning and it's this right here, the quantum encoder. The image on the left, which is this one, was in the trailer back in 2019. So we're gonna go over that in a second. And having interviewing Snut this last, well, I've interviewed him multiple times, and Jace, obviously when he was with Coffee Stain. Uh, and they've always stated that there's, there's items that have been in the game for a while, they've just never capitalized on them, or they potentially could be coming to 1.0. And if we look at this image right here, this looks very similar to the building in the 1.0 release trailer. And this is the quantum encoder. So, and also here's the blueprint shown in the trailer way back then as well. So if we actually go over to the satisfactory wiki right here and actually go to useful build, uh, useful pages and go to buildings, we can actually scroll down when it's, it loads, uh, we can actually scroll down here and go to old unreleased content. And in here is a little, Pandora's box of things that have actually come to the game and actually things that are potentially coming, including maybe some items. So if we look at unreleased content, we can see dark matter. Does this look familiar to anything? This was, or is now what we know as the nuclear pasta. And you can see right here, it looks new enough exactly the same. Obviously it's changed its name, maybe just for more of a meme effect. Maybe back then there was more serious um, when there was kind of coming up with all these ideas but Nuclear Pasta is a fun name and it makes it more meme -y, right? Uh, but you can see it looks new enough exactly the same compared to the Dark Matter as shown right here. And you can even see Dark Matter was a crafting component creating the Hydron Collider, which is the, the, the possible name for the particle accelerator by then. Guessing from the power requirement of the Hydron Collider, it might have been created only using power. It's probably, well, it probably was an early version of the nuclear pasta introduced in patch four, which I 100% believe it is. And if we actually come down here, we see this, the quantum crystal. And the quantum crystal was crafting component used to create superposition oscillators. And as we know, we've had these superposition oscillators in the game for many years now, because they was introduced into the fix it calendar, which we get at Christmas, uh, because um, there is two um, hard drive locations where you need superposition oscillators and quantum computers. So this has been in the game this whole entire time. Is it there as a little feature that's going to come? But the, it's had the same brand in all the way. So like it's here. Why not use it? So maybe this will eventually get used in 1.0. And then speaking of the supercomputer, this is also in the game as well, which comes with the uh, fix it calendar as we know but also when we look at the manufacturer the quantum computer is actually being made inside this little animation when the building is constructing an item so we can kind of see the central chassis, uh, chassis right here kind of in english right now and now it's starting to build the frame obviously it's not going to be as high resolution as what the item is on the ground uh, just because of you know performance sake but you can clearly see that this item right here will eventually be the same as this one so does that mean the potential quantum computer is going to get made inside the manufacturer because as we know the manufacturer has gone undergone a few changes over its time especially visuals uh, and all that kind of stuff and a few recipe changes but does that mean this quantum crystal right here is going to get made in the quantum encoder does because this requires right here potentially dark matter which is nuclear pasta and quartz crystals obviously these recipes aren't going to be the same thing um, but 
does this mean that this quantum crystal is going to get made inside the quantum encoder? And if we go back to the original image, is this image, uh, this item down here, is this the new version of the quantum crystal? We don't know. Is it a, like a glass kind of cage here with the quantum crystal inside of it? Um, maybe that's what that is. It could be a totally different item, but at the end of the day, we're only speculating. But I 100% believe this building is the quantum encoder. So if we go back over to the um, wiki, we've got the quantum uh, crystal. Uh, quantum crystals are crystals manipulated to store data in quantum bits, can store an incredible amount of data. Um, then we've also got the salmon guts. We kind of potentially know that these are going to come into the game. Um, but then if we look down here, we can see a recipe called the Sam Fluctuator. Um, this item right here, a Sam Fluctuator was a crafting component used to build the remote storage and converter. And if you've seen the video from Total Eclipse, which he just released on the, I believe the second um, things he might have missed, I'll put a link in the description. Um, he, at the end of the video, he talks about the video, uh, the, the building that's potentially behind the pioneer's legs. Right, so the building in question is this one right here, which is literally hidden behind the Pioneer, and it's very kind of hard to spot because your eyes instantly get drawn to these items and the items that's in the pipe as well. Um, but if we actually look here, we can kind of get a good shape of what it could potentially look like, which is this, 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 and then that's really much it. But if we go to the next frame, we can see it kind of changes the shape of what I just kind of put down, but it looks like it could be coming into like a more of a triangle, uh, kind of like a weird looking building. Uh, and if we go to the next frame, we can see it coming down here a bit more. So it looks maybe something like this with the output down here into whatever this is. And it looks like there's only potentially one output. And if we go back over to the wiki and scroll down here, there is something called a remote storage. Uh, the remote storage was a building that could be used to access items stored within the storage unit from anywhere, accessible from the inventory. Uh, it only had one input and no outputs. So is potentially this right here just the inputs for this? Or, or have they changed it a bit? Because as we know, they've gone through a whole kind of branding of the whole fix it kind of look. And then this is where we found the quantum encoder. And then we have some other interesting things like the powered wall. And a lot of these things that's in this unreleased uh, document here is actually coming to the actual um, game itself. So maybe powered wall or potentially these powered walls. Could they be related to like these fences down here that have been being added? Uh, could it be these over here? But I do believe that these right here, I believe these are potentially the, the bot. You can see that there's a little gap in the middle right there. I do believe this maybe bottom one could be um, pillar uh, beams, sorry. And then this one here, this top bit, you can kind of see the stems. And obviously because of the lot distance, I believe there's going to be that across there like that. Very similar to this one right here. And as we can see, we can see these right here. Are these uh, a new fence? Or are these potentially uh, power, uh, send power through them? I doubt it, uh, but it's an idea. And then obviously in here, the, as well as the industrial lighting, which eventually come to the game on 4.0, we have the Hadron Collider, which was known before 4.0, and then was renamed the Particle Accelerator and then released with 4.0. And then up here, we have the converter. And a converter, the converter was a building that could convert any two raw resources into any one raw resource of the player's choice. It used a temporary model, which in this image, it look, kind of looks like the foundry. And I think it's the same image for kind of this one as well. I think they're kind of using it as a placeholder. Could this potentially be coming in and maybe produce this item right here? maybe can we maybe it's not just for raw resources anymore maybe it's something to do with um like the whole plus steel uh, and all that kind of stuff like uh who knows like it's a very very weird color and we can't get really any information on this i understand that yeah with bronze and everything you are going to need tin uh, and all this kind of good stuff um but this is a big puzzle for me um, in regards to what potentially item this could be. It could be anything, really. And then once we go back to the wiki, we can kind of see like Smelter Mark IIs, Foundry Mark IIs, Manufacturers Mark IIs. Could these come to the game? Possibly. 
Um, was this maybe before the whole overclocking and power shard kind of things? Uh, I, I don't think so. And then if we look up here, we have the Rifle Mark II. The Rifle Mark II was an upgraded version of the rifle. And then um, it could only hold six rounds instead of 10 and dealt 12 damage per hit instead of just six, just like the rebar scattergun. It could be unlocked in patch 0.15 and was removed in patch 0.16. So we know the Rifle Mark II has been in the game for some time, because if we go into here and type in give uh, Rifle Mark II one, we can kind of see I've now been given the Rifle Mark II in game and it just says a better rifle. Um, and you can kind of see that it is a physical item. So why it was never used or available, I don't know. You can't, you know, you can put it in your, you can't even put it in your hands. Um, so he, originally you could put it in your hands, um, but you couldn't reload it with rebars or anything. So it's there, but just not usable. The next thing was the rebar scattergun. This was um, talked about very early on and then obviously was released in patch six with the scatter rebar. Uh, and all the, the, the weapons changes and all this kind of stuff. And then the next was the Sam Fluctuator, which obviously you might recognize that image right there. It's just a placeholder image. Uh, but a Sam Fluctuator is, was a crafting component used to build remote storage and converter. Hence, we kind of looked at this before. Um, but yeah, I just thought I would show you this kind of site and um, just have a look around in game and see what's uh, kind of possible and what's not possible and what's kind of correlating with what was in the trailer. Um, so I don't want to keep this video going on for too long but let me know what you guys think i'll put a link to this website in the uh, thing as well if you've not seen the official um wiki uh and then yeah have a browse through here see what you guys think let me know in the comments and all that kind of good stuff and uh hopefully you have a fantastic rest of your morning afternoon or evening and uh, i will see you in another video so keep smiling and uh i'll see you then